Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what are you... I want to taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Oh, Nick, what the hell? Oh, get off. Oh, to watch out. I said get off. Nick? Let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. <sighs> Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos, whatever we can. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable?
place was so different like 12 hours ago. I wonder where Caleb is. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. It's such a... Oh, such a... Such... what? It's, it's such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why didn't you like me, Abby? Nick, you're different. No, no. Just Nick. Good old big dick Nick. What the hell? <sighs> I'm sick, Abby. Why don't you care about me? I do. I... 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 Really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Abby! Abby, everything okay? 
Holy shit. <sighs> okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Only one left. Lodge. I knew it. Shut up, they're okay.
I've never done this before, Pop. It's doing fast, that's it. Safe. Abby? Ryan? Killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't. I don't know that for sure. I do. No. <laughs> No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Oh, hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? So let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Okay, 
I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Off you go then. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? <laughs>